But, yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? Feel great. Yeah, I feel great. Everything at full speed. I saw you doing some sprints out there today. Yeah, everything's full speed. Feel great. Chris, what happened in the game? It looked like you may have gotten rolled up on the sideline after the play. Was that where? Um, I just had some knee irritation. Um, that was pretty much it. Just making sure. I was just checking all the boxes, making sure everything was good. But luckily, you know, my head dodged the bullet, was able to go back out there. J.P. Mason got the responsibility of taking over those last few minutes of the game. Everybody congratulated him. What did you see from him out there? Well, he runs hard. You know, it's so you know this whole backfield runs hard. So, you know, it was just fun to watch and you know, see him. I, obviously, a young guy come in and um, run like that in, in such a crucial time to have the ball with six minutes left and be able to run the clock out. It's a big deal. So, I was happy for him. Chris, just to clarify, you obviously don't seem to have any concerns about being able to play Sunday. Like I feel great. Yeah. What excites you about going against this Miami Dolphins defense? Yeah, there's a lot of challenges. You know, they're they're well coached. Obviously, you know they run to the ball well, have a great rush, um, and so you know, like every week, there's a lot of challenges. But you know, it'll always be about us and being able to go out there and execute the game plan. Running back on running back, could you give us some kind of I guess insight or, or, or perspective on, on on Elijah Mitchell? I mean, he he worked so hard to get back, missed seven weeks, and then he comes back and then he gets hurt again. Yeah, it's brutal. I've, I've been there before. Um, it's a pretty lonely and, and, and miserable place to be. Um, and I haven't known Elijah for a long time, but the one thing I do know is he's a fighter. And, uh, you know, the thing that I keep telling him is just to, just to keep going. You know, this is a marathon. He's going to have a marathon of a career, and this won't be the first or the last time that he's going to have to go through adversity because he's going to play for a really long time. And, uh, you know, I know he's out for I don't know how long, but... Um, you know, if he keeps plugging, man, hopefully we make a run at this thing. He'll come right back. And, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm encouraged just watching him because I've been there before where it feels like you can't catch a break and it's one thing after the next. And so I, I know what he's going through and I know that um, he has the right mindset to do so. But it's been an honor just to share the room with him and watch him grow and watch him, you know, have to go through some stuff then obviously come back and have to go through it again. But I'm proud of him, and I know he's going to come back stronger than ever. Is there any person or thing that you leaned on when you went through it? You know, it's hard. You know, you, it's, you'll lean on your family at times, but, you know, everyone's got stuff going on. And at the end of the day, it's kind of – it's a fight with yourself, you know, and you got to just – keep trucking every single day and persevere. I think perseverance is probably the most important thing you can have in this league. Um, no one's career is perfect. Nobody goes through all highs. You know, there's going to be lows, and when that happens, you just have to be extremely uh, mentally stable and emotionally stable to be able to, you know, with, withstand the, the physical challenge that comes with this game. But um, I think as far as who you leaned on, you lean on a lot of different people at different times. Sometimes you lean on whoever's there for you at the time, and um, I think that's just important for all of us to, to be there for him because, uh, like I said, it's challenging. How much did you know about him before you got here? Uh, I I didn't know much. I knew that they liked him a lot, um, and you can see why. Um, but other than that, I, I didn't know a whole lot. Running back to running back, what um, impresses you about him? Well, he can do anything. Um, you know, and he plays beyond the X's and O's, breaks tackles, runs hard, finishes runs. Um, he's a great spark for our team. You guys won four games in a row. How would you kind of describe the confidence? You said what, sorry? You won four games in a row now. So how would you describe the confidence you've seen from this team? Yeah, you know, it's obviously take every win. I think each week's a new week, and each week presents new challenges. And um, just observing, this this team has the mentality to go 1-0 and every week. You know, don't look at the past, don't look at the future, just focusing on this week. Southwest, with the games just being different, whether you've had games you scored in the 30s, you've had games you scored like 13, and you really have to grind it out. Is that just the nature of the league, or you need to be more consistent on offense? We would love to be more consistent on offense. You know, I think um, a win's a win, though. At the end of the day, you know, there's there's a million different ways you can win. And uh, if you have more points than the other team at the end, we'll, we'll take it. Obviously, as an offense, we're going to be hard on ourselves. And scoring 35 a game would be great. That's our goal. Um, but, you know, I think you look at that last game, and we struggled in some areas. But to have the ball once again with six minutes left, and, and to end uh, in victory formation, that's a big deal. You know, it's not extremely flashy, but um, that's playing winning football at the end of the game. And so there's a lot of positives to take from games, a lot of negatives. Of, 
just take them both, keep moving on, keep growing. What have you seen from Ty Davis Price in your short time with him? Say, say what have you seen from Ty Davis Price in your, in your time? He's been, he's been great. You know, he's uh, hungry to learn, uh, unbelievably dynamic. You know, he's fast, physical, uh, can run. Um, like I said, both the young backs are, are very talented guys who can, um, who can do a lot. So, you know, he's a hell of a player. There's a 70% chance of rain on Sunday. How do you like playing in the rain? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You know, yeah, it doesn't matter. Sun, rain, snow, got to play. So whoever plays call, got to go out and execute. Is today's practice kind of like going to Colorado before Mexico City? A little bit of getting ready for the conditions. Wasn't that cold. Yeah. <laughs> After that, we're probably pretty callous to that. But it was, uh, no, it was good out there. It was good to get a little bit of rain work. What's been your favorite one, thing about today next to George? I know he's excited <laughs> to have you. I don't know. I should write a book. Um, I don't know. There's a whole lot. Uh, He's a special guy, um, special guy to be around. He, you know, his energy is definitely contagious and um, works his ass off. It's just so fun watching, uh, you know, successful guys. Obviously, they're all over this locker room, but just to observe their process and uh, it's no shock why he's great. Um, and it's just encouraging and inspiring to, to be next to him. All right. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks,